Casting is a very important process uh, before uh, we shoot a film because this is when you select the right actor to be in your film. When you have an actor in front of you, this is where you can judge uh, or rather you can gauge the ability of the actor, um, whether he or she can communicate with your direction or rather can follow instructions. One thing I, I notice about uh, first-time directors is that they tend to get um, actors or actress who may not be suitable for the role. Sometimes for convenience or for budget purposes, you may get your friends to act for you or your parents or your aunties or uncles to act for you. This may or may not be good for your film. For example, if you want to get a mother to, uh, if you want a character of a mother, it's good to get someone who's older to play the character rather than to get your sister or your uh, old friend who looks older, who you think who looks older to play the mother because uh, eventually it all comes down to believability of the character on screen. You know, um, you might have a good story but uh, once you get the wrong actor or wrong casting, when the audience look at the film, they may not find your story believable. So this is when, uh, this is one of the reasons why I think some films fail. I think one of the ways to get the best performance out of actors is to make them really, really comfortable. And one of the ways to get them to be comfortable is to make them understand um, the um, emotions of the characters, you know, uh, which I call um, to internalize the characters. Firstly, I think you need to talk to them about the uh, the character's background, um, the background, their motivation, and then the journey. Okay, when you talk about background, you can talk about where the characters live, uh, who are the characters' parents, where did the characters um, study, you know, who are the characters friends. So these are the background and then the motivation. For example, oh, the character wants to connect with the father. The character wants to connect with the mother. The character wants to um, get a new boyfriend. So this is the main motivation of the character, right? And when you talk about the journey, so what does the character do to achieve that goal? to get a new boyfriend, to connect with the father, to connect with the mother. Uh, so these are the simple things that you can talk to the actor. And, and the process, like I said, it can just come in from, from, all, from all angles. You don't have to put yourself in a certain grid. One of the things when we are on set um, that might change everything is the presence of the camera. You know, uh, it's different when you are rehearsing with the actors without the camera, but when you are on set, uh, certain actors might react differently with, with a camera in front of them. So as a director, I think you, you have to constantly remind the actors that you know, the, the camera is just uh, another eye, another crew. So what you need to do is just to focus on, the, on, your, on your performance and your interaction with the other uh, cast members in the set. Don't be afraid to, to communicate with your actors what you really want them uh, to do. Sometimes when you do low-budget films, uh, you might get the chance to work with actors who work for you uh, for no payment and stuff, but when they come on set, they tend to have this, like, uh, you know, this presence. I myself have the, have the experience where I, I get big actors and you know, big-time actors or, or superstars or celebrities on set. Uh, they can get a bit overwhelming, but after a while, when you talk to them and you know them better, they, it's, you, you know, we get comfortable uh, with them. That's when I think it's important to, you know, um, to tell them what you need to get the best performance out of them. Because I think these actors, they also want you to tell them what to do. Um, so I think that's one of the things to be, uh, to have a good film, to have a good set and to, for you to direct successfully.